What is up guys, Austin Rachel here, back again playing Jurassic World Evolution, continue with our gameplay here where we're building my own version, I call it my own version, but I'm not trying to build the Jurassic World, but it's my, how I think Jurassic World should look, and we're continuing on with our build here. So in the last episode, as you saw, um, I ended up building these hatcheries over here, so we have a herbivore hatchery with, as you can see, with all the gallimimuses, and then we have a carnivore one down here with a bunch of um, Delophosaurus sources that I incubate as the first dinos and I went ahead and then just filled in the area with all sorts of shops and everything just trying to fill up as much of the area as we can with stuff then of course had the ranger station and the ACU center added on there and then down here I added another monorail which I don't remember if I had that in the last episode and then I went ahead and connected it all the way down here which is what I wanted these areas for is to put the rail through here and then over here, we're going to have two viewing things. I have not put anything in them yet. I was going to put the Gallimimuses, but I'm trying to get as many dinos in the park as I can. So I have not yet decided what I'm going to put in here. But I did want to go ahead and start working on our next exhibit where we are going to put the Gallimimuses. We'll go and just go with the this version. Now, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this. But we're just going to... Bring this along over here. So the whole point of this, this is going to be um, pretty much the valley from Jurassic World where it has the uh, like long necks and every, or the long necks, the Gallimimuses. I'm trying to think of how I want to connect the fences here. So let's go ahead and just feed it right along. Yeah, I'll go ahead and just do that and then delete this extra. But this is going to be uh, kind of where the, we have the, uh, I think it's the Apatosauruses, the Gallimimuses. I know in the movie there's Triceratops, uh, Ankylos, and I can't remember what else there is I want to say stegos but I'm not exactly sure about that let's go ahead and add some of our water in here we'll kind of do it maybe down over this way if we can we'll just add some weird little spots of water in throughout here and then we are going to attach a um I forget what you call it Oh shoot, I forgot about that. I'm gonna have to mess around with this. A, um, the little ball gyrosphere, I could think of what it was called. We're gonna attach a gyrosphere station into here as well. Just trying to cover up some of this fence area back in here. It's not one that go in. I don't want a like, thick amount of trees. Maybe that's what we'll do here. We'll go ahead and delete out that section add more fence I'm trying to think maybe let's leave some room Come on, just connect straight on there. It's gonna be good enough. And then we'll go ahead and we can delete out these trees that did not need to be here on accident. And then we'll go ahead and put in the gyrosphere. So this will be, yeah, we'll start it here. Just kind of wind it along the side here. Curve it around back here. Mm 
There we go. So that should be all set up now. Let's go ahead and connect our paths here. And I may add some decorations or something. Or I don't know what I would add back in here. I was going to say, I may add something. Let's go ahead and add it trees back in wherever we can get them. I guess I didn't get the path connected exactly how I wanted. Let's go back and edit the path. There we go, that should be better. Let's add just a few little spots of trees around in here. Then we will need to add a bunch of, I guess a bunch of feeders. I will add the tree feeders there and over here. Of course, that guy just got rid of the trees I just placed. And then we'll do herbivore feeders like right here. Because we have a lot of Galmimuses, so we're going to need a lot of feeders. I'll just go with that. That should be plenty, hopefully. Now let's add in our power substation, which a small one should be fine just for this area. Or do we want a large one? Where is our power currently? Right there. Yeah, back in here would probably be fine. Oh man, I don't really want one in there. It's not perfect, but we'll just have to go with it. So there we go. Let's go ahead and add now. There's our gate. Very similar. Add the gates in there. So let's go ahead now and start tranking all our Galamimuses. So I went ahead and made one of each. So I probably way overdid it on Galamimuses. Setting additional tasks. At least I thought it doesn't seem like there's that many in here now unless I have nope maybe yeah there's a lot in there and then actually we'll go ahead and start doing the apatosauruses I think I have them all modified out kind of looks like it. I never know if like because of missions and stuff in the past games if I've messed with them or anything. And last. Yeah, we're as good as we can be. So let's go. Oh, I forgot to change the colors. Let's pick out some cool colors here. We'll probably do I think we'll do four. So we'll do two of this color. And then we'll do two of the other color that we saw. I don't remember what it was. Oops. Collecting asset. Get all these Gallimimuses moved over. En route to I want to put asset. something else in here. I don't know. I have, I'm pretty sure the dino breakouts off so it doesn't matter if everything's comfortable i kind of want to do trikes in here but i'm not exactly sure Acknowledging asset collection request. yeah i think i may do trikes in here okay let's go ahead oh there was another one I don't know if that one's being done already. 
So apparently we have eight, so an even eight number. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on this path now. We'll bring it out to about here. Asset has been collected. Then we'll curve it around. Hopefully this will be straight. So I don't know if I like that or not. I think that wastes too much room. Maybe. We'll just go with sharp angles. We'll just kind of bring it along like that. So that's just going to be all that. And I will take the monorail and just kind of like pull it around over in here. And then just course try and just bring it throughout all of the dino paths and everything so let's go ahead um, I'm trying to think of what I want to do next Asset has been delivered. Delivery complete. let's go ahead and add these onto here for our next dino pin. I don't know if that's enough room or not. I'm just gonna do it and leave it though. There we go. That should be good. Again, I don't have an exact plan or idea of what I'm doing. Just kind of doing stuff Asset delivery confirmed. there we go so that should be a nice little uh, section there. Again, I don't know exactly what I'm doing with this thing. Let's mark that off. And this, of course, is just going to be all of our, um, I guess you'd call it like herbivore areas. Okay, we should have more dinos ready to go. Asset collection request received. And then as you go further, I assume further south, because I believe this is the north. So as you get further down this way, you'll then go into the carnivores. And I love herbivores more than any other dinos. So that's what I want the most of. Asset to be collected. But I want to do a pin of the trike, different trike types. Commencing asset do a whole little connection of water over here. the view look like okay so pretty much covers the whole area here um, go and add trees oh shoot I was thought I was on trees for some reason Go and try and cover this back fence over here as much as we can. Place trees. 
I wish you could get much finer like detail and stuff in with trees. But it, you know, just have to kind of let them control you almost. Let's go ahead and throw on a gate here. That for those areas. And I don't know, I don't know how much room stuff needs. I think we may do Delivery has been completed. the Anklos related stuff over here, or not, yeah, the Anklos, so the, I think that should be, it is all of, yes, all of the Gallimimuses and everything are out there. Those are not done yet, but I can't even do it, but like the Anklosaurus, Notosaurus, um, Crichtonosaurus, all those kind of things. I guess we can go ahead and try I guess we're gonna try to Asset delivered. wind this around over here No. Just kind of wind it around like that so it's in the background so we got good views on all of the parks that are all of the exhibits and everything sweet there we go so we got those two apatosauruses let's go ahead and set the thing to trank them out look how cute they are i love log neck dinosaurs so much they're always my favorites Walking big and slow. Let's wait till it gets all the way out so that way I can hopefully get out of the way. They'll let the other one out. Come on, come on. Move a little faster. There we go. Now we'll do the other two. I'm um, trying to think of where I want to do. Oh yeah, modify. It's like, what was I doing? Going to switch them now to this, the wetland color, and do two of those. Once this one gets released. Confirmed. Take out both of those. Come on, get out of the way. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Oh, it's going down. And then there we go. They're both down. Heading to collect the asset. Collecting the assets. So then over here to continue on with this, we'll go ahead. I keep click clicking guests because, you know, I think viewing galleries are for guests, but. We'll put this right next to it. Then I want to do this one. Probably right here. Asset transportation in progress. That should cover most of the area, hopefully. Let's 
go ahead and delete these out real quick. Can't figure out where to place it. Asset has been transported. Just kind of do that right there for now. Let's go with our power. Confirming asset delivery. There we go. Okay, those are not done yet. But let's take a look here. See what we got going on. So of course, we'll have two more Petasaurs. And then we I do want the Trikes. I'm trying to remember. I guess I can check in this one. Those are not done yet, right? No. Let's look at this one. Okay, so let's see what we got to do. So we have Chasmosaurs. Pentaceratops, Cynoceratops, Styracosaurus, and Tort. Yeah, that's good. So I will do trikes in the other um, pin. So I'll do however many they need. Six you can do at most. I'll probably do because its population is going to be full, but. I'm pretty sure I have the settings turned off. Let's go ahead and look at them. Um, sandbox settings here. Di yeah, no escapes. Um, I have diseases. Um, yeah, I have unlimited power. I'll go ahead and leave it if I start having some power issues because I would like to put more. Um, things throughout the park you know like power stations because you know i added one here and then i have all those but obviously i'm not going to have you know unlimited power or power for everything kind of want to place these a little better There we go. Look a little better, at least. But over here, I was thinking about putting um, the other, uh, I want to say Gallimimuses, but that's not right. So the other thing, so I want to put, um, what do we got? Struthiomimuses and Arctheornithomimuses in one, where I'll do, you know, probably one of each color of those. And then maybe in the other, put, I'm trying to see, so we have pack i'm trying to think of something that doesn't have very many types because i'm going to put all the different types together 
because I was thinking about putting them in separate. So I'll put, you know, Struthiomimus is one, Arctheornithomimus is in the other. But I don't know if I want to do that. But I may, actually, because I want to do a park of, like, all the different packy forms. Those things are taking forever. But all the different packy forms. So the um, Draco Rex... Sticky Moloch and the Pachycephalosaurus put all those in one. I thought about that, but um, I want a couple of those so that pin may be pretty cramped for them. All in that one. Not exactly sure. But let's go ahead. I can't do anything here now. So those. So let's see. I'm trying to think of how many more things. So I've got the Ankylosaurus. So I'll include Anklo, Crichton, pretty much anything that looks like that. Crichton, Polycanthus, Notosaurus, Sauropelta, and that's about it. Then we will do the Stego. What was it? The Kintro, Hwanga, Gigant or Gigantospino, and Kajingasaurus all together. So that's going to need to be a bigger area. So that will probably be this one, maybe. So I'll just try and like get the numbers. Okay, let's run through this again. So for the tri, I think they're called like triceratopsids or something. I don't know if it says that anywhere. I don't really know. So we have one. I feel like I'm gonna miss one when I'm counting. So we got one, two, three, four, five. So we got five types of those. Cause I guess I'm gonna move the tri. Um, then we've got, so I'll do this type, so we got one, two, three, four, five for those, but the, most of those can only take, usually we'll deal with like one or some, so that may be fine. And then for this type, we've got one, two, three, four, five. So five again, it, but those need more. Go ahead and release both of these. Trying to just plan everything out how I want it. Then here in the middle, we'll do a big, um, like the Brachiosaurus type thing. So all the big long necks. I just feel like I have so much room, like I should have made these bigger. Maybe I will do that. Okay, so let's bring... Sorry, people. Yeah, and then maybe bring it off from there. So I may delete all of this. Oh no, we got a disease. So let's go ahead and cure that disease. No problem. We'll go ahead and bring the helicopters in. Trink out. Request acknowledged. We'll let that get in and then I'll start this one there we go so hopefully it'll cure that before it spreads so I'll delete all these buildings that I placed but I'm gonna keep pretty much the same design and everything So let's go ahead and just take the path. I already don't like this. <laughs> I'm trying to go with the curve of the island.
Oh, you know what? It would be nice maybe to connect these here. Like that. So it's one nice big thing. And then this will be the whole Brachiosaurus area. Ah, that may be pretty good. Now let's see if we can figure this whole thing out. Let's go ahead and grab fencing. Nope, nope. Just pull it down to there so that way I know the dividing lines I wanted already. There we go. Delete those. Goodbye, fences. Okay. So now we can go along and place... Oh, shoot. I forgot about... There they are. And now I can start getting the trikes going. Place. Picking up asset. And then once those get down at the very end here, we'll drive through it real quick. Let's go ahead and then get the triceratops. What are they set on? Because I may do a thing to increase the amount. So they have 49. So I can go ahead and do a hatchery capacity. And then that should be 60. Yeah. So let me do these real quick. I think we will do one of each. Let's make sure we got, I'm pretty sure I already have the, oh no. I was gonna say, let me make sure I got the longest living, but I don't, at least on that one, 37. Okay, so that's good to go. And, whoa, it increased our viability. That's weird. Yeah, so we'll just go with that and then I'll just go through and pick the different colors. And do each of those. And then I'm gonna let these incubate real quick. Then of course we have one left out. Um, but I'll go ahead and let these incubate real quick. Um, and then I'll put them in here and then once it's done at the end off the episode we'll just drive through on the gyrosphere just to see all the dinos in the park area and everything. So I will bring them back once the trikes are done and we'll take a little drive through the gyrosphere. Okay, so all the dinos have been transferred over here now. So we've got our trikes, the patasauruses, and all the gallimimuses. And I went ahead and redid all this as I mentioned. I went ahead and, you know put all that path down and stuff and connect it down here as you saw and I went ahead and just added in all of the viewing platforms and the food and stuff and um then go and I'll uh, start to create ankylosaurus so they're done now and I went ahead and put a track all the way around it does not look good but to get the connect here I had to feed it up through here which is what I was planning on but then I think I was going to make it connect here but then I forgot about this whole area and stuff I may switch some stuff up not exactly sure um but then I want to have it come around here, obviously, to view all what will be the uh, carnivore areas and everything. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and do our gyrosphere ride to end off of this episode. So, here we go. Or, no, let's go ahead and ride gyrosphere. Let it take us around itself without me having to drive it. So here we go, we're approaching on, yes, point out all this stuff. We're approaching on some Apatosauruses, and you can see some Gallimimuses right there too. The trikes, all looking really cool. Obviously not as big as it could be, 
but still pretty dang cool. So there we go. Off to the side, we've got Apatosaurus, Triceratopses, Gallimimus. There's some running trikes, which is pretty cool. Hello, giant Apatosaurus. No Indoraptor yet in this park to, or Indorex to have killed you like it did in the movie. All the bloody dead dinosaurs. And we're coming up here on one of the little ponds, or little lakes, I guess you could say. And then we got some more Gallimimuses over there. More Apatosaurus, another one, a nice green one. Which looks so cool. I wish you could turn more to the side. Oh, it looks so cool. Oh, we got a Gallimimus in our path. Is it gonna run into us? I hope it's cleaning on itself like geese do. Hi, Apatos, or Gallimimus. And then we just wind all the way around. I like the trike in the water there. It looked really cool up to its belly in water. There we got it eating Gallimimus. And then coming over he down here to the end of the park. And it's a good thing that I like they added the invincible feeder so now I don't have to worry about or er, whatever unlimited feeder so I don't have to worry about sending stuff out again. The, oh there goes Gallimimus running away. And I think that's going to be it for a little ride. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Like I said we ended up the I forget what they call it. It's like something valley. Out herbivore valley is what I'll call it. I guess I don't really know what else to call it here. With our gyres for Ryan, we got a Patasaurus, Gallimimus, and Triceratops, similar to what they had in the, I think, uh, kind of in the movie, like when the kids are in the um, gyres for Like I said, there was also Ankies too, but I'm not going to put any Ankies. Oh, the trike's down there by the wall. Uh, but I'm not going to put any Ankies in the um, this section that'll go in the next one, as I already got them. Uh, incubating and everything and ready to go so that's gonna be it for this episode I hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to let me know in the comments down below don't forget to leave a thumbs up for me and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more Jurassic World evolution videos because I absolutely love this game now that I'm building you know my own park how I want it have unlimited funds so I can do whatever I want oh there goes the monorail similar to the movie how the monorail drives by the valley and stuff pretty dang cool so that is awesome so i want to thank you for watching again and i hope you come back to check out more episodes and that you enjoyed this one thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one